So, we've got this rivet that we can make as a nice component. Let's do that first. Okay, we are, how big, how big are we? 63. Let's put a, let's go for a nice 31. It's gonna give us a little bit of a, an indent here. Let's pull that down just a smidge. Now this bit, so it's 31 wide, so if I go 31 up from there, and then we can round off the top to 31. Nope, doesn't like 31, so it likes 30. Round off the top there. That's a little bit pointy. So let's bring it down. Yeah, that's about right, I think. Now, we have got a various angle. Let's look at the sizes on this. 90, 18, 15, 18. Uh, so we want a 15 mil wide. Uh, let's go 100 by 15. Make it a group. Now I need the center. Find the center. Let's stick it somewhere where I can see it. Now you. Middle. I'm going to lose the center again if I do it that big. In the middle. Okay, so that is bang in the middle. We're going to turn it by 45 because oh, minus minus 45 because that's what it was in this bit of the artwork. But it's going to give us a generic rivet that we can move around lots. It's gone up 10, so if I go up 11, just to make it a little bit proud. It's not a rivet, is it? It's a bolt or a screw. Let's get it right, um, and then trim that off of that. There is our bit of detailing we can add wherever we want. We're a solid group. Uh, no, I'll leave that where it is. Now, we also need this um, inset section here. So let's build that off the same piece. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. And then let's make it a group. Now if we spin it by 45. Oh, and then we go inside our group. The group's axis are now in a useful direction. Come on, we want a flat circle, please. Hmm. 
Oof. Okay. Hide you. Find the center. But we're a little bit off center for this, but once we've made it, we'll be all sorted. Um, Off our ends. So this we're going to extend down. Let's go. Yeah, we really need to sink it about 10 in for the effect we need. Um, edit, unhide. It also means if I pull you down by 10, I can subtract you from you, leaving us with our rim there. Let's group them for now. That's our bolt. Let's put a few more in. Just to complicate matters, these ones are different. Um, oh, you. Yeah, it's a group of its own. Apologies if I go quiet occasionally. I am thinking and that horrible noise you might be hearing is my brain pondering. Off and there we go. Okay, we've got our two different types of rivet. Screw, even. I'll get there eventually. Oh, we've got a hoofing great one there. But that's probably a flat. Yeah, if I do that as a bulging one, that's going to look silly. So we'll build that on its own. We do, however, have a couple more over here in the handle. Like so. Okay. Let's get our blade going. I think... We'll put these slots in first. <laughs> yeah. 
It's ketchup auto save time. Those of you who have watched me stream before may notice a, a new little bar at the top. We are, apart from streaming on seven different days in a month and followers, we're hitting everything required for affiliate. What is going there? So... If anybody fancies dropping a follow, it would be much appreciated. When I'm when I'm getting close, because it tracks everything for a 30-day period, there's sort of no point slamming out streams that people might not be, be interested in watching to try and get onto the whole seven streams in a month. But I am planning, if I can get close on the followers... Then in May, I'm going to do a personal sculpting project uh, for a um, Iron Kingdoms or War Machine um, Steam Jack, which will be done on a different day at a different time, not to, not to mess around with this stream. So if anybody fancies dropping a follow, it will get me nice and close to affiliate, um, which is which what everybody wants. And um, then, hopefully, after a little bit, I can get what I need to uh, bump up the graphics card. In, not the graphics card, the RAM. Because as we have previously discovered, the RAM in this machine is uh, is lacking a little bit, seeing as two sticks of it are uh, currently sat on my desk, having probably been the cause of the blue screen of death that I was experiencing before. So if we can get to affiliate and uh, and then get some, some more stuff going for the channel from there, I, I want to do some video game streams at some point. I want to play some, um, what's it called? Uh, Mech Warrior 4? Yeah, Mech Warrior 4 on stream at some point with a friend uh do some co-op of that lots of random things planned um but if we can get the follows up to what we need bar at the top is uh is the goal then it just gets us a little bit closer to where we need to be uh, and then i can focus on the other the other things twitch requires of me to be an affiliate I managed to get one game of Mech Warrior in, didn't I? And it was like I played. I basically went, "Hey, I have some free time. Let's play Mech Warrior." And then something happened, and I had to bail on it after like I might have even been halfway through a mission. Um, yeah, it was about thirty minutes. I managed to play something like that. So uh, yeah, it'd be nice to uh, to play it properly for a bit and actually have a a streamed campaign and have an excuse to actually sort of get back and play it because I've had the game now for quite some time. 
Um, and I haven't really played it all that much, as is the case with, unfortunately, the vast majority of my computer games um, end up working in the evenings instead of playing. Like, was it Monday night? I was working until... I actually got up at a decent time. I thought, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll start work at... I'm going to start work at half nine. And I didn't finish until... Half midnight that night, I think it was. So, uh, yeah, these are the... The positives and the negatives of working for yourself. You get to decide your own hours, but um, you also have to do. You also have to work hard and work odd hours. Um, nature of the job being, or nature of the the way that the orders come in. Some days I have no orders and like nothing to do. Where's the centre gone? And some days I have everything to do it should be a market it keeps does it keep disappearing or do i just there it is uh control oh wrong thing rotated rectangle let's go with that there's the middle Can, we can't do a middle one there so go there um do, do, do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love working for myself. But I also really need an office. I really need to build an office in the garden at home because working from the house is great. You're near everybody, but at the same time, you're near everybody. Um, why did I go onto the handle when I was mid blade? I think this is going to be going to turn out to be something interesting. Some of these angles. Right, that's looking good. How chunky is this thing then? What have we got that wields one of these? Um, da, 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 no, customer. Let's just try and search more out on the. Yeah, here we go. Huh. Straight on shot. Um, but yes, I was right. The uh, No, it does have a little bit of a curve, just on that central rivet screw. I keep calling them rivets. They definitely have a screw hole in the top. A screw slot in the top. So, but it doesn't give me an idea of thickness. Let's go with this. So here our handle is going to be about ooh, 100, 102 mil. Now I can't be right. Yeah, it can. That's only a mil. That's only extruding 50. Ooh, a mil wide. That's going to be very flimsy when we come to print. Um, 
but let's have a go. We can always expand it a little bit more. So, 50. No, no chance. <laughs> I'll put it in and go, nah. Um, this is supposed to be a big, chunky chopper as well, so... Seventy five, so we're gonna be a mil and a half thick at that's probably our thickest part. This is gonna come out to be sixty. Um why is my brain not working? Uh seventy five, so let's go sixty five there. Let's come back out to there. Uh, no, nope, not there, uh, sixty five. There. How big is this thing? It is 198. Half of 198 is going to be 99. So let's go up. 99. This is where the whole thing's going to have a paddy. I want to do that and I want to go 99 98.5 yes okay it could be worse that is not as <sighs> yeah, let's group it get inside the group and now we can try and fix it Intersect everything with itself. We didn't get an intersection there. Yep, there we go. And there. I've already started rounding things before I even got the basic extrusion shapes done. Occasionally get ahead of myself. Um, let's have a look at all those hidden things. Too far. They're going to cause us some issues later on if we don't get rid of them. All of this just to squash it back down again. Wrong bit. Oh, I do so love the undo button. I wish you had one sculpting by hand. Because I can do organics by hand. Ah, need to learn how to do organic stuff in. Now, oh, come on, in 3D, but getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. I notice most of the requests, or a large number of the requests on Patreon, when I ask about what to do for May, were things like helmets. Oh, why are we doing, what's going on here? Actually, did I accidentally select something I shouldn't do? Yes, I think I did. That explains it. Um, now, to do helmets is 
current workflow very difficult. Um, uh, da -da. Point. Let's go point three. There we go. We have a little bit of rounding, and then we can get rid of those extraneous bits there. The current workflow is helmets and curved things are hard. Complex curves are difficult. However, I don't want that to be the case. I want I want to get comfortable enough doing helmets and things like that that I can just um offer them and, and do them when required. And I think this Steam Jack project is going to help with that because there's going to be lots of uh, shapes and things that I'm not used to doing with the um, with the sci-fi stuff, with the Infinity stuff. So if we can get that project off the ground, then helmets are definitely more on the table. Um, so don't forget to get that Steam Jack project off the ground and therefore hopefully more um oh what's the word i'm looking for hopefully more uh complex infinity stuff we need to get to or close to affiliate uh close enough that i can uh, warrant additional streams and at the moment all that needs is followers so if you are watching along uh and are not a follower of the channel Please click that follow button. It is uh, don't cost anything at all. Um, but it does massively help me. Um, and it all it'll convince me that this is this is worth it, that streams are gonna be worth it. Um and then I can start doing more fun stuff. Right, this is where we're going to get to have an interesting time on this blade. Because I think the easiest way to get this is going to be to introduce a bevel. Which, incidentally, is going to have to be quite a small bevel because of this section back here. But then we should be able to play around with the thickness of the bevel, uh, with the edges of the bevel, and move it to where we need to be. So, that is that's as much as we can do there. So let's do it. What weirdness did we end up with here? Okay, that's not so bad. Um, or is it? No, we have to come back then. 15. Okay. Move. Move this edge straight down. I don't want to go to razor thin, so let's go. Let's go. Uh, come on, lock to the axis, straight down by 30. Straight down by 30. I can't do every edge at the same time. I have to do like odd edges. Um, oh, why won't you move down? You're being awkward now. Sometimes SketchUp only lets you move it in one direction. There we go. Let's do the corner. Let's move that down by 30. Can we get rid of... Yep. So these edges are staying as flat planes once I've moved them around. So down by 30 again. Do this all the way around. there okay get rid of the extra geometry so it doesn't 
mess me around when I do the next bit. Okay, now I I'm going to start back here because this is going to be the easy bit. So there. You should be able to move that way. Yep. And I can pull that one that way. We have our chunky chopper blade here. This bit. How far was that? That was 65 mil. But if I move. Oh, you're not going to snap to green. You're not going to snap to green. Of course you're not. How can we play around with this then? Wait for wait for SketchUp to finish. Auto saving would be the uh, the start. Can we do it? Uh, get the angle the same. Copy. Yep, we're copying it to there. Okay. There. There. Hopefully. Yeah, that works. Right. Move this line now. Move it to there. And this corner, oh. There, that works. Hopefully, if I put that to there, like that, um, and then a bit better. So we have our very choppy edge. This is definitely more of an axe than it is a thing. I can see why it's a shock CC weapon. Although those that don't play Infinity might be confused about that. Uh, shock close combat weapons or shock ammo in Infinity will instantly uh, inst no not instantly kill. Um, can't remember the definition of the rules but if you take a wound from shock, you die. Um, you lose all your remaining wounds. Uh, no, you, so you don't go unconscious. You bypass unconscious and you go straight to dead. Although, I'm st still remembering the previous edition rules and terminology. They've tweaked it quite a bit since. Um, around that. By not 99 this time. 60. Yeah. Um. So, whilst it doesn't look like it would shock you in the um, traditional sense of the word with like electricity, it definitely looks like it would um, take you straight to dead. Intersect with the selection of you. What happened to the top? It's still there. Good. Um, are you just a 
You're just a weird artifact up there, but that's fine. It's so tiny, it's not going to make a difference. Okay. Happy with the handle. That was easy enough. Let's put a bevel on the top of here. Uh, 16, 20. That works. What are we left with? This section here. Oh, don't. Where's our image gone? Uh, it's not a big bevel on there, it's only a small bevel. So, let's bevel that by 5. It's nice just to give the edges bevels. Um, it takes away that super sharpness of it. Um, like it just makes it easier to paint. Although, if anybody has painted these and, and has found that to be an issue, do let me know, because I can remove them, or I can stop adding them. I just find it... Um, it looks a bit better. Right, what have we got left? I think we're almost there. I just need to to lift the rivets up to their relevant heights. Some of these classical muffins aren't particularly complicated. The katana that was that was quite complicated. That one. Okay. Um, let's not select. Uh, nope, not that one. So there. Now, from looking at the model, they're actually sunk. Pretty much all the way in. Heads are flush with the top there, which means, uh, yeah, we can protrude a bit from there. Those ones are the same. But what that means is, I'm going to need. Expand my cutout. Now let's just have a look. Are we? We're not. Why are we not solid? Oof! There's a lot going on there. Can we fix it automatically? Fix some of it. Okay, that's an oddity. Ah yes, that would be an issue. Didn't spot that one before. was there. Um, is 
that just a Are we done? We're done. Okay. Let's just make a copy of that in case I screw anything up. And then we can have a look at this. Now, you're not even a solid group. Ah, uh, that's why. You're two groups. Let's cut you out. Kind of works. Yeah, I think that works. Load. Really should have done this differently. Go big. X. Rim. Definitely should have done this before I copied, but yeah, we're here now.
See what I am going to do though. I'm going to save one of them. Okay, anyone in the chat, f start figuring out what you want next, because this is not going to take long to finish. Same options as before, anything from the, the new dossiers. Whoops. If there's nobody there to decide again, I will uh, I'll pick something that I fancy making. We're on until probably 3 p.m. today. So at this rate, what are we on? So we've been online for about an hour and a half. And we've got two guns in. We're going to be on for a little over three hours. So we've got time for two, maybe three more things. If there's something from the new Morat range you really want, you really need for a conversion, give me a shout. Um, and we'll get it done. solid groups make it one solid group please ketchup Duplicate. Step along the blue. Yeah, I didn't want to go right to a point. I don't think I ever will, because, especially on something that's double-sided blade like this. Because um, if I do, you'll never be able to put supports on it. in one solid group edit delete guides we don't want those there Oof, that is a hefty board and I need to put those lines in or we're never going to be able to see them let's move this off them there we go I'll export a 2D graphic and so this is our Morat shock. Yes, yeah, the shock CC weapon. Oh, not Morat, Morat, Morat shock. 